Hi, this is Eric Lyons, and what this tutorial is to show is how fast and easy it is to get a genome, its annotations, functional and diversity data all loaded into Koji, and then be able to visualize that inside of JBrowse. Our goal is to get this done in under five minutes starting from scratch with all of our data preloaded into the iPlant data store. I'm going to go through this as quickly as I can and I will do my best to be narrating what it is that I'm doing as we go along. So currently I'm logged in as the Koji user account and I am on Koji's homepage. I'm going to begin by pressing this online start button for this clock and now begin the process. First I'm going to go to my profile. This is basically the master control page to see everything that there is in Koji. I'm going to select to create a new genome. Here I'm going to load in a genome of E. coli K12. It is a little bit on the small side, but we are shooting for speed here. I'm just calling this thing a test thing. I'm going to add data. Go to the iPlant data store for this account. Demo data. Here's some FASTA data for this E. coli. I'm going to go ahead and load it. Now these data are getting processed, loaded. Boom, it is done. I'm going to go to genome info. This page now will let me load in some structural annotations. And again, give this version one, source test, organism is pre-populated, select data, going to E. coli, demo data, and go find our structural annotations, load those in. Now, while that is loading, I'm going to start loading some experimental data. So, give this one the name of test, version one, this will be some VCF diversity data. Um, it'll be another test data set. Select my data files. Again, going to the iPlant data store to our demo data. Um, there's our VCF file. Go ahead and start loading that one. It's going to automatically detect the experiment name. Now going to load another experiment. Let's get some fake expression data in here. Expression, expression one, version one, test. So our data source, select our data files, again back to the iPlant data store. This makes moving and managing data really quick. Go for some low density data, um, load it. Let's go ahead now and load in some more experiments. Maybe we'll do a high density one, test uh, one, test, and select our data file, E. coli, demo data. Let's go ahead and do the high one load that experiment and we're going to go ahead now and load in a BAM file, load experiment say BAM one test get that in there, select our data file, again go back to the iPlant data store, there's our alignment BAM let's go ahead and load that one and let's see how everything's going looks like our annotations are done this experiment's been loaded, this experiment's been loaded this one um, is in the process, 1.8 million lines of data, that one's done, and a BAM file's done, great. Now what we need to do is view it. Let's go back to our genome info, select view. Let's see what we've got. So this is gonna now fire up JBrowse, which we have fully integrated inside of Koji. I am gonna go ahead and pause this. We're under three minutes. Turn off the sequence data. There's our gene models. Go ahead and click on those. Get what they are. Take a look at the experiments we've loaded. Let's first take a look at uh, expression experiment one. Ooh, there it is. Looks good. Expression experiment two. Remember, this is super dense data. This is sort of sparse. Dense is a lot of data. We gotta really zoom in to take a look to see those individual peaks. So now we can start to see pretty much loading a data point uh, for every nucleotide in the genome. Let's take a look at our diversity data. Do we have SNPs being visualized? Those look like SNPs. Go ahead and zoom in on them. There are the SNPs. Let's take a look at our alignments. See if we got our BAM file. There is our BAM. Gonna go ahead and zoom out some more so we can take a look at these at greater scales. And again, show how fast and easy it was to get all of these data in here. Now what's nice about this is if I go back to my user profile um, for this particular E. coli, it is fully restricted. And if I want to, I can share it. So this is now only shared with uh, Team Koji. Um, but if I want to, I can go ahead and take this, share it with other users of Koji, give them access to it. But otherwise, it's completely locked away. But it is available for analysis in comparison to anything that is fully public. So I'm going to go find my user account. Go back just to Eric. 
There I am. Add me as a reader. I'm going to go find Matt, the programmer who has done all of this, Matt Baumhoff. Make him an editor. He has done some fantastic work on this. And that's it. Again, want to thank you for um, taking a look at this Koji tutorial. And here again is that summary of everything we have loaded for this genome. There's our FASTA file, our GFF file, BAM file, expression 1, expression 2, and our VCF. We can do a lot more editing of the metadata, clean this up, and make it look a little bit nicer. Thanks a bunch.